Hi guys, uh, this is an example for calculating the resultant force for a concurrent coplanar system of forces. So what we have here is three forces that are seen to act at one single point. We could call that point O. And we see a 10 Newton force at 45 degrees from the horizontal. Um, if this was the x axis and this is the y axis. We have a 5 Newton force acting 30 degrees uh, from the negative x axis and a 15 Newton force acting at an angle of 60 degrees uh, from the positive x axis. Uh, the forces which we have here can be resolved into their x component and y component. So for example, the 10 Newton force can be replaced with a force going towards the right where its magnitude would become 10 uh, cosine 45 and a y component which would become 10 sine 45. Uh, also uh, for the 5 Newton force that can also be resolved into a component in the x direction which will be 5 cosine 30 and 5 sine 30 as we see here. The 15 Newton force can be resolved into a Y component and a X component. The Y one is pointing downwards. Uh, this will become 15 uh, sine uh, 60. And this component here would become 15 uh, cosine uh, 60. Um, if you need a review of these uh, finding force components, uh, there will be a video made available. Uh, just uh, click on the link that we'll show soon. Alright, now uh, the first step for finding the resultant is to find the components of each force. Um, and we can see x components for each vector and y components for each vector. We'll go through the tabular method for finding the resultant. Okay. So we'll construct a table. Um, in this table we'll have the description. We'll have the, um, the x component. And also the y component. All right. So the description would be, um, we have those three forces there and we'll write them, I'm just going to write them down here. So I'll just move this up. Our, um, our first force was a 10 Newton force. It was acting at an angle of 45 degrees as measured from the X axis. We also have a 5 Newton force which was acting at an angle of 150 degrees. So if we look here, um, the angle measurement from here to this point here will be 150 degrees. So here our measure is 150 degrees. Our same for our 15 Newton force. So if we look at this again, the measure of angle going from the x-axis all the way around to our vector there um, will be 360 minus 60 or 300 degrees. So let's write that component down. So the 15 Newton force is at an angle of 300 degrees. Alright, so we can write down the x component and y component for each force um, as long as we measure uh, the angle as measured from the x uh, axis. So here we can write down our x component. So this will become 10 cosine 45 and the y component would become 10 sine 45. For the 5 Newton force we have 5 cosine 150 using the angle measured from the x axis and we have 5 sine 150. 
Uh, also for the 15 Newton, so we have 15 uh, cosine 300, sorry, 300, and 15 uh, sine 300. Alright, so we can now find the total uh, sum of the x components and that will just be equal to the sum of these three values uh, added together. So we'll go through uh, that summation now. Okay, so here on my calculator I'll type those values in. So 10, 10 times cosine 45 plus 5 times cosine 150 plus 15 times cosine 300. So you should see that there. I'll press the equals button and we get 10.24 as our total x component of our force. The units for this will be newtons. Okay, so next we can do the same thing for the y component of force. So for the y components, we have 10 times sine 45 plus 5 times sine 150 plus 15 times sine 300. Press the execute button and here we get uh, minus 3.42 rounded um, our, for our value of force. The units being newtons as well. Okay, so now we've got the x component and the y component of our resultant force. This would be the combinate, combined effect of those three forces acting on our system. Next step is to now draw a diagram showing these forces. So we'll do move to that step now. Okay, so we'll move up. Okay. So we'll indicate the y direction, so this is y, and this is the x direction. Here we see our x component is 10.24, and it's positive, so it goes towards the right hand side, towards the positive x axis, as 10.24 newtons. For the y component, um, it's negative, so it moves in the negative y, so that's a positive y, negative going down. This goes down. The value that it goes down is 3.42 uh, newtons. And our resultant force will be the force that connects these two vectors together. So this one here. Call that R. Okay, so our resultant force R, um, we can find that out using Pythagoras. So uh, moving that up. Um, R will be equal to the square root of 10.24 squared plus 3.42 squared. Uh, the value that we get here um, will be equal to um, go alpha square root of alpha a squared plus alpha b squared and in brackets we get 10.79 or around about 10.8 as our value for um, our resultant force so 10.8 uh, newtons as our resultant force um, so the next step uh, so we also need to find the angle at which this force acts uh, so that's this angle here theta um, now recalling from your um, basic trick, uh, this would become the adjacent side and the opposite side. So we can find the angle theta uh, by using the tan rule. So theta is equal to the inverse tan of the opposite divided by the adjacent side. Uh, this will be equal to tan inverse of 3.42 divided by 10 0.24. Our angle as measured in the negative uh, direction will be equal to 
the inverse tan of 3.42 divided by 10.24 so we get 18.5 as our angle um, I've actually stored these numbers inside um, the letters A and B inside my calculator um, so alpha A was 10.24 and alpha B was negative 3.419 so I can go alpha B divided by alpha A um, change this to the positive value of that and go shift tan of that answer and we get a more precise value for my angle. So my final answer for the resultant, we can write that down um, as, as follows. So the resultant is equal to, um, sorry, the resultant vector is equal to 10.8 newtons and is measured at an angle of negative 18.5 uh, degrees as measured from the positive x-axis. Alright, so if you have any questions just please leave them at the uh, end of this video. Uh, thanks for watching.